Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in this video, we will learn about the Google listings and ads plugin developed by WooCommerce. Now this plugin will help you reach millions of shoppers across the Google with the free product listings and ads. So your WooCommerce store will be synced with the Google Shopping and all your products will be shown on the Google Shopping for free. Now this plugin will sync all your WooCommerce products with the Google Shopping automatically. Whether you are brand new to digital advertising or marketing expert, you can expand your reach and grow your business for free and with the ads. Now let me show you how does this work. I am on Google and I am looking for laptop. So I'll search for laptop in the Google search. Now here you will see all the ads showing their products. Here you will see the tab called as shopping. Again you will see some ads on top. These are all ads. Now here you will see all the listing which are free. And you can list your products in this Google shopping list. So all these products listed here are free. With the help of this plugin you can list your products on the Google shopping. So let me show you how does this work. Now I'm on the website and I'm already logged into the WordPress dashboard of this WooCommerce website. Now go to plugins and go to add new. Now search for the plugin Google listings and ads. Now here is the plugin. You will see it designed by WooCommerce. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so we are going to set up this uh, plugin now. Click on set up free listings in Google. Here we need to link three types of accounts with this uh, plugin. So first will be wordpress.com. So click on connect. Now it will ask you to approve and link your account with uh, this plugin. So click on approve. So I have linked the WordPress account with this plugin. It shows connected. Now the second will be Google account. Click on connect. So you need to have Google account as well as Google Merchant Center account. So select your Google account that you want to link. Click next. Check these boxes and click continue. Now it shows that it is connected. The Google account has been connected and it shows that you need to create merchant center account. Now, if you already have an account, you don't need to create a new one. You will need to link it. In this case, I do not have account. So I'm going to create account Google merchant center account. Click on create account. Check this box and click create account. Now it shows that it is connected. All right, now click on continue. Select your language, select the country where you want to sell the products or where you want to show the products in the listings. In this case, it shows India. If you have another country, you can select that country. And if you are selling all countries, you can select all countries also. So in my case, this is just a dummy website. So I am selecting India Then click continue. Now it says configure your product listings. Your free product listings will look something like this. So, so this is how it's going to look. Here are some shipping rate and time. It is asking about the shipping policies. So click check this one. I have simple policy. Whatever you have, you can select accordingly. I'm just putting some random number and this is for free shipping and estimated shipping times. You need to fill up this field. So it's seven days I am selecting we're okay, done now click continue okay it will ask you to enter the phone number your country code I'm just putting some I'm putting my phone number here and it is going to verify your phone number 
So it is uh, going to verify using the text message and uh, when I select send verification code, it will send verification code on my mobile number and I'll need to put it, put it here. Now store address, you need to enter the store address here. This is just a dummy address. Now pre-launch checklist, you can select my store website is live. If your website is live, it needs to be live so you can check these boxes. So I have complete and secure checkout process, something like PayPal or Razorpay or Stripe. My payment methods are visible on my website. So these are the confirmation that you need to follow. These are basically the requirements of your website. So you need to have all these requirements fulfilled on your website. So your store should be alive, your website should be alive and there should be some checkout process and uh, payment methods are also visible on your website. You need to have the refund policy terms of service on your website. So phone number as well as your email address and your local address should be visible on the website itself. So these are the requirements you need to fulfill these requirements. So let me send the verification code so that I can complete this setup. Okay, I've got the code. So I'm just going to enter the code. And click on verify phone number. Okay, so the phone number has been verified. Okay, and now it shows complete setup. So click on complete setup. So it shows that you have successfully set up Google listings and ads. Google reviews the product listings in three to five days. And if the products are approved, your products will automatically be live and searchable on Google. Now, if you want to run campaign, there is a I guess a dollar 500 Google ad credits you can use that to create campaigns here you will see the dashboard of this uh, particular plugin and this is the product feed this is the dashboard how many products are there and how many are synced how many are not synced you will see everything here so you can track the performance of your store on Google shopping here now it shows free listings enabled here is the reports nothing is done yet so this is just a it will show the default settings nothing is there here are the settings and this plugin is going to do everything for you so you don't need to do it manually you don't need to enter the product manually on google shopping in the google merchant center so this is how you can install this plugin and show your products in google shopping for free so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.